Uh, hello, welcome back. I am uh, will be doing another review today. Today it will be John Curran's show, Memorial, which is down at uh, Barry Gagosian space on uh, West 24th Street. Great space, and I, I, I've been riding around on this little Honda Grom. It's a 125, a lovely little machine that was bought out... Uh, well, I think they've been around for about four or five years now, and and Honda's done a, a great uh, has has really added something new to the to the market with these micro bikes. But on to John Curran's show, which is a, a great show if you're a lover of uh, of painting like I am. Um, just got to be a bit careful here with the bike riders. No, I, I always worry with these uh, on these sections of the road. The bikes, you've got pedestrians and bike riders and people crossing the, the street, and it's always you feel like you could hit someone, they're just going to walk out. But anyway, John's show is great. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a series of seven uh, paintings, they're quite risque, uh, nude figures or semi closed figures, voluptuous figures, which John's used in the past. Uh, and you know they're in quite provocative prose poses I wouldn't say erotic uh, he calls it memorial and I think it's a sort of memorial to eroticism in its way uh, I don't want to put words into his mouth but that's what I understand it to, to kind of mean kind of like a funeral uh, what do you call those funeral sculptures that you might well what you might see at the graveyard or in a church I've been to Rome and and you see those in the in the the Roman churches are strange figures uh, praying and 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 he has those where there's a trompe liol I'm not sure if that's how you say it we don't do a lot of the, the accents uh, the the very oh, I worry about these delivery driver guys here they're always food delivery guys they'll swing out anywhere in between them and the buses the Grom's a great little motorbike it's easy to maneuver and so that's not too much worry there but you still worry about it uh, Anyway, so John's, oh, there's some police, I just, nothing, nothing to see here, officer, I'm just uh, driving along doing a review, and I, and I hope that's not against the law yet, who knows, with the way this COVID stuff's going on. Anyway, so, the show, yeah, what it reminded me a lot of is, uh, is, uh, that Pieta, oh, watch out, Mr. Bus Driver, um, just getting around there, you've always got to keep, it's hard doing these reviews on the road, because you've got to pay attention to the cars, uh, but it reminded me of uh, Da Vinci's uh, Pieta. Is that how you say it? I'm not sure. But Pieta, Pieta. You, you, you'll know it. I'm sure. I'll, I'll put a picture up here. Um, well, I always worry between going between a bus and the and the and a truck like that. You worry someone's going to swing out. But um, so yeah, it reminds me a lot of. Uh, Michelangelo uh, da Vinci is a Michelangelo or da Vinci I'm not sure I can never remember but that Pieta and it always reminds me of my uh, my next door neighbor she was an old Greek woman I lived in Collingwood and she's her favorite AFL football player was Peter Dacos uh, the Macedonian marvel they called him watch out get off the road these city bikes are a worry um, but she would always say to she would refer to him as Pieta Dacos Pieta Dacos, and and I've always thought of that. I always called him Pieta. Ah, luck of the Pieta. Da I'm not sure whether it's you're allowed to do those accents anymore, but it, you will understand what I mean. And and um, Pieta Peter, he had uh, very short legs for a player, and and sort of a Renaissance type hairstyle, which um, John Curran's show reminded me a lot of. Just in some of more of the group portraits where the, the, there's a group of figures coming together in a way it reminds me a little bit of in the AFL when they a group of players will come together for the ball and now of course that's just an old uh, football fan like myself talking so um, I don't know whether anyone else I, I can't I'm not sure whether John Curran's familiar with the AFL and particularly uh, the VFL which I think it was when Pierre de Dacos was uh, back playing uh, for the uh, the Pies. Anyway, but so that would that that's the show, and I I think that you get, should get down there to um, Barry's uh, gallery and and check that out. But also, what get off the road? Um, also, what you, you've got to. Get, uh, it's fitting about that because it reminds me of this little motorbike. I. 
I think this is a wonderful uh, little machine for a first time rider and someone with, if you had short legs like um, Dacos, you could easily throw them over onto something like this. It fits all sizes and I, I think it's a great beginner's bike but also just a fun little machine. So I'm going to give uh, Peter, I'm going to give John Curran's show um, two and a half groms out of five and I'm going to give uh, this little Honda Grom, I'm going to give it four and a half John Currens out of five. And I'll also give, uh, well, Peter Dacos, you've got to give him um, five old Neville Bruns uh, Scanlon's cards out of five. He was a top player. Anyway, so that's my reviews, and, and uh, I'll be back uh, hopefully soon. Get out there, keep your eyes open on the road and in the gallery. Uh, I'll, more, I'll be back with more full throttle reviews. Thank you.